What is up YouTube? So today what we are doing is we are wrapping my gas cap on the Speed 3. Now I have literally no experience wrapping. So the purpose of this will also be to kind of show you don't need a professional to do this. Um, for something this small, it's pretty easy. So let me move the car in and then we'll, we'll roll to that. Originally what I'd planned on doing with the gas cap was taking it all the way off and I watched like two quick YouTube videos before I went to go do this and both of them had the gas cap on so we're gonna see how that works out for me. Just gonna go over the materials we got here. I have some very watered down alcohol, rubbing alcohol that I'm gonna clean off the gas cap with first, wipe it down. Obviously we've got the wrap right there and then our heat gun and a razor. Next, I'm just gonna chop out a little bit of this wrap, just enough that I need for the car. Just laid it down. What I'm doing right now, just kind of getting all the air out so I can see where the bubbles are. What's nice about this wrap is it's really forgiving. You don't have to stress out too much if you make a mistake. Just lift it up and start pressing down. The reason I'm doing this with just my finger is I have I had one of those little squeegee kind of things that go with the wrap, um, but I gave it to my brother. He's the head tinter wrapper at the Bowser Mosta near my house. And so I, I figured he'd use it more than I would. I gave it to him. It's at his work, and I didn't feel like going and getting it. And he told me I should just be fine to use my finger on just such a small space. So. Move you a little closer, but as you can see, there's definitely areas where I put it down where I'm gonna have to rip that up, pull it apart like I've done with over here. Um, there's a small little bit right here that I'm gonna have to take care of as well, but it shouldn't be bad at all, so. Pull up, start stretching. Update on how that's looking. Much better, no wrinkles or bubbles that I can really see anywhere. Maybe a little bit right there. But not terrible. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna trim around the edges right along here. I'm gonna try and get it along right here so that I can get it so that it'll wrap around the edge and I don't have to deal with kind of a white outline. Alright, time to park the gas tank real quick. 
So really all that I kind of did just through there is I went through around it, um, kind of cut around so that I could do it. I molded it with my finger. Um, I saw a video online where it was kind of talking more about how you can get it to just curl over itself. Um, I'm not as experienced as that guy was, so I didn't really want to kind of try and mess with it. For the most part, it just worked really well to kind of fold it over. I know typically people will use the uh, heat gun a little more than I did. Um, but I didn't have to stretch it out very much over my gas cap. It's pretty much a flat surface, so. You'd think I'd have a more steady hand, considering I'm a phlebotomist. But yeah, it just wraps around right there. It's nothing super pretty. Um, but no bubbles or anything that are really gonna ruin this. And that's what we have probably would recommend taking the gas cap off though if I was going to do this again but I mean if you're an experienced rapper you probably would be fine to leave it leave it on um, but I think as far as for beginners like me it would be easier to take it off just because then you don't have to worry about scratching your car or anything as you're going around and you can get enough of the wrap to pull around and do a cleaner looking job nothing super terribly hard um, I would definitely um, recommend you get the right wrap um, and since for such a little area it's not too bad so anybody who's looking to wrap their gas cap themselves I will put the link down below for where you can get wrap like this and yeah happy wrapping